Hi guys, today we're going to talk about our brand new Yobo Gear Anchor, which is made specifically for sand and soft ground. So Cal's going to do a little tutorial on how it works. Take it away, Cal. Alright, each anchor consists of a spade, a 14 inch stake, and a cable. So first thing you do in, in soft sand is dig a trench down as, as far as it's easy to dig. So just take your little shovel and scoop, scoop out the sand. Obviously the deeper you go, the, the more stable it's gonna be. And then what you wanna do is take your stake. Ginger, come here. And uh, dig, your, dig yourself a little trench. And what that's for, is this attaches to the spade that way when you pull it tight it doesn't want to pull up out of the ground it, it pulls through your trench <clears throat> because in order for this to pull out of the ground you have to move all all of the sand that's that's the purpose of the spade how deep would you say that hole is 14 inches. Okay. <laughs> and what you want to do <clears throat> is these have a little ferrule on them. You got a little hole right there in your spade. Just feed it right through there. slide your stake through like that. Rounded part goes towards towards the stand and you want this to be at a 90 degree angle to your to your uh, cordage on your, your anchor on your stand. So that's how it looks when you start pounding it. And then uh, I'm not just hitting this a water bottle. I actually made a, a water bottle hammer because I always have my water bottle with me. There you go. And then you just pull that tight and you fill it back up with sand. And I already have a stand put together. So um, I'm relatively light, I guess I'm 200 pounds. So uh, I feel comfortable with these anchors and this sand. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable, and we'll show you later, you just use two anchors and that'll also make it more stable in the wind as well. But took those on there. And uh, we made a sand feet for the stands. They look like this. There's little notches in the feet right here. All you do is notch them on there and that keeps your stand from sinking in the sand a long ways. And this side of the hill is a little higher so I'll just lower it a pinch and uh, push it into the ground. go. Then we'll do, I'll just tilt it like this so it stays put. And then we just do the other side. All right, we're over on the other side, so we'll do the same thing over here and get it all set up and then we'll hook our hammock up.
Yeah, I also designed those stake or the spade anchors so that the stakes can pull out in case in case you only want to like carry one stake around to, to pound it so you don't have that extra weight. You can just carry two, three, or four anchors and then only need one stake. So, so it's optional. You can leave the stake in or pull it out. I mean a little more holding power I think with the stake in it but once you get used to using it I th you're fine to do it this way. <clears throat> so the angle of that cable is 90 degrees from the angle of the anchor in the ground. Yeah so it's very important too otherwise it'll want to pull up this way. You helping Ginger? Dogs love digging holes. Yeah. And again, you could use two of these anchors on each side if you wanted to put a little more weight in the hammock. That would be no problem. You just do it the exact same way times four instead of times two. Yeah. So the other side's already all fastened where it goes, so we'll hook on it. Let your legs tighten up. And then what you want to do is just tighten this up a touch more and you're good. 